What's up, Amoeba? I'm Tim. I'm Cody. And I'm Sam, and we're Drain, and this is What's in Our Bag. I've been revisiting a Minuteman three-way tie for last. Now over there in Managua Square with America made bombs falling everywhere. We're from Santa Cruz, but I'm originally from San Pedro down in Southern California. And these are kind of like the local legends. And I kind of grew up on this skateboarding and their whole discog is like really good music, crazy lyrics and like slam poetry at moments. And then like just going like the raddest like melodic sections, the way it's all produced and like the production is great. So I've been, I've been on a huge Minuteman tip lately. Heck yeah. Another invasion? Sympathize with whom? We got Scorpions Love at First Sting. This is my dad's favorite band and he put me onto them when I was a kid. But he would play mainly songs from Blackout and I'd, still to this day that's one of my favorite Scorpions albums. But this one's great because it has Big City Nights. And obviously that's goaded track, you know? And the guitar playing really shaped uh, my, how I play and stuff. And obviously some of the best lead tones ever, like for guitar, like on their album. So shout out Scorpions for real. Here I am, rock you like a hurricane. Straight up, Ramones, best band of all time. The playbook on simple, catchy, effective. There's never an instance where I don't want to listen to this band. I've been more into like the 80s, 90s stuff recently, but like, Rock to Rush is classic. I got this record here, which to the naked eye might look like the most pulverizing death metal record you've ever heard, because the art is hard as shit, but uh, this is the best of Grateful Dead. I think a lot of people maybe don't recognize it because they don't know, but like a lot of the imagery of this band and we use, you know, whether it's through merch or flyers, like is very largely influenced by Grateful Dead, you know, we just kind of give our own spin on it. But it's just funny because a lot of people are like, dude, I love, you guys got the dopest merch. Grateful Dead sucks. I'm like, well, I don't know, you know, I'll be honest, I just get really influenced off their stuff, their tour shirts, their flyers, their art. So it's, it's dope. If you haven't, man, give this thing a spin. Shoot, man, holding it down for the Bay Area, man. We got Larry June. Big Definitely one of my favorite rappers, pretty much as of lately. Uh, his bars are crazy, super dope rapper. And I feel like he really encapsulates the Bay sound, like the old school sound too, which is dope. The song I'm Him, that's a good song to play when you're like, might be having a bad day, just throw it on, listen to the chorus. I'm Him. This is sick, yeah, but Larry June, shout out to him. Kind of like the Minutemen for Sammy, RKL's kind of like my hometown heroes. I'm from Santa Barbara. I think they're from Montecito, close enough, but uh, yeah, straight up, one of the best punk bands out of the 80s, in my opinion, just way ahead of their time. Incredible musicians writing just crazy, fast, chaotic music. If you have never heard RKL, you, you need to. I would consider this mandatory listening if you like punk music. Keep laughing. Keep laughing. <laughs> Want to plug our good homies and scowl? They're from Santa Cruz, just like us. We've been playing in bands with each other for years now. And so see them get better at their instruments and like as songwriters and like go from playing small rooms to doing like arenas and being on TV commercials. And like, it's dope, man. The music's great. And these are good homies. It's like actual living proof. Like if you just like put your mind to it and don't listen to like, you know, when people give you a hard time or like, you know, try to discourage you, 
you can be on top of the world. So it's it's like right here in physical form. It's dope. So psychic dance routine, scope it. We have Spin Doctors, Pocket Full of Kryptonite. I know Tim really likes this album too. Just really good early 90s, just like funk rock, kind of in a way similar to like Living Color, which I also like. And obviously Two Princes, the, you know, the single that came off. What Time Is It is actually my favorite track and it's a super good, just funk song. They have a video for that too, but yeah. Pretty good snare album. tone on the planet. Oh yeah, you already know the snare tone's crazy. What time is it? It's not me. No. I used to work at a coffee shop in Santa Cruz called Cafe Pergolesi, which these dudes remember. We started playing shows there. We would book shows there. Everyone in Scal used to go there. Like it was, it was kind of like the spot. But I used to work there with my boy Patrick, and we would always play this record. And Zevon's the man. Ow. And everybody knows, and rightfully so, you know, turnstiles glow on. It was a holiday. It was a holiday. It's my favorite band, and musically, but also just like the doors they're opening for everybody in bands like us. I just get stoked on. We got to see them two times in September, and each time it's just like the coolest thing ever. Like, I love it. And so I'm stoked to finally, you know, pick up a copy and just have it on record at home. I'd say listen, if you haven't, but you already have, I know you have, it's dope, and rightfully so, but if you haven't, like, you're missing out on just like modern classic. So yeah, glow on, it's the best. For the thrash heads out here, I got Toxic, Waste I know Sammy folks with Toxic. This isn't World Circus, so this is like, seems to be like a demo, but it has songs from World Circus, like Heart Attack and stuff. And I grew up watching the live video of Dynamo, I think it was 80, 88 or 87 of them performing it. So really cool find, and yeah, it's just like melodic, speed, thrash metal from Europe. Uh, super dope. Yeah, so I'm glad I found this. So this is a Tony Williams record. We were fortunate enough to tour in Europe with a band called Hazen Street. And Hazen Street's drummer, Mackie Jason, played in bands like Chrome Mags and the Bad Brains. One of the best to ever, ever do it. I was asking, I was kind of picking his brains. I was like, yeah, what were you kind of inspired by when you were growing up? And he just kept saying Tony Williams. He, he was just really encouraging everyone to just listen to different kinds of music and not just stick to like one lane and just like really kind of like broaden your horizons. And, I don't know, I'll be honest, I haven't. So I saw this and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start right now, but uh, I'm excited to, excited to check this out for sure. I grew up loving Sabbath. It's like just a big inspiration and influence on me. And I'll be honest, I'm gonna get some haters. I'm, I'm an Aussie years kind of dude. I just, uh, it's just, Nothing against Dio and everybody else. I just, I'm an Aussie years dude. And I've got like most of those records on vinyl, but like I saw this one, you know, the past lives, just kind of like greatest hits almost. And you can't really go wrong. So I was, I'm just stoked to put it on and just hear everything I want to hear. I think on this one, Killing Yourself to Live and Hand of Doom might be a oh, favorite. Nice. I know it's on a different record. Hand of Doom has like one of the heaviest, heaviest, like, I don't know, I can't call it a mosh part, but just like a really fucking heavy rip. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm stoked to spin this, and you can't roll a blunt on an MP3, so there you go, dude. <laughs> Well, shoot, man, I have a very classic hardcore record. It's one of my top 10 for sure, uh, Age of Coral Chromags, man. And I found this when I was a teenager because I came from listening to metal and stuff like that. And I just started to notice like flyers of the Chromags playing with like, you know, thrash bands and stuff. I was like, what is this band? And then found the We Gotta Know video on YouTube. I was like, whoa, and I just kind of did a deep dive. Still to this day, I still bump this album. I mean, We Gotta Know, Signs of the Times, 
street justice, like just classic front to back, you just throw on and it's awesome, love it. I got The Cramps, Stay Sick. I first heard The Cramps in high school. My favorite movie of all time is Return of the Living Dead, which has like the best soundtrack of all time. The Serpent Dead. I just thought they were so weird and like did that weird kind of rockabilly, like just weird shit. Super, it was super cool, just super fascinated with it. My roommate in college, his mom toured with them in the 80s, and so I was like, got to like pick her brain and pick his brain about it, and I just think they're a super cool band. Shock Troops, Cox Par. I got put on by my buddy Malachi, and I just was like, yo, like, what is your shirt you're always wearing? I'm gonna check it out a couple years back, and I'm like, it's just, it's dope music. The catchiest hooks by like the toughest people ever, and like, it makes you feel that way. Like, uh, we're coming back, I could, I could kill him, man. I could take on the world, listen to that track. You feel invincible, and it just like, it just hits you, and like, I don't know, it's so, so dope. We gonna run. Out on an island too. Out on like, an island. Yeah. It's great track. It's take, great takes track. You on like a, on a turn you're kind of not, at least I wasn't expecting. I'm like, yo, that's literally where I'm trying to be in the middle of the bright blue sea. Like I'm, I'm spiritually, I'm on the island, dude. In the middle of the bright blue sea, out on an island. Shouts out to Future, man. I listen to Future every single day. I don't care what no one says, he's a goat. Cocaine by the kilo these days, put it right on my wrist. You can still see the chain lit up. This is his new one, just came out, super dope, and yeah, shout out to Future. Chicken, 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 chicken. All I want is chicken. I was seeing one in front of that, and I was gonna pick that. So let's do, let's do it together, man. Let's go. I, I hate how much I love Sublime, but I love Sublime, and it's all thanks to this man right here. I hated, I hated this man growing up. I couldn't stand him, but honestly, they fucking rock, and they're great musicians. Open a track, waiting for my Ruka, like opening sample from Minutemen. Punk rock changed our lives. If comfort music's the thing, like if I'm ever just like, I don't even know what to listen to, I can just throw on Sublime and like, yo. Yeah, yeah, long drives, I'm feeling, I mean, all of it, dude, they got it. They got a Grateful Dead cover that I can't even say is I think I prefer the Sublime version to the OG. She was Dude, new song, new song rocks, dude. Uh, it's just great. Hope, Descendants cover, you know? Now we both got them, there we go. It's dope, man. Yeah, straight up. So this one, I don't know, I just think it's dope. And the art, are you kidding me? Like, I was in, like middle school, like trying to trace this, not even knowing, I think that's like a like a sperm cell or something. Like, I, I don't know, I like, I did like a deep dive on the art. I'm like, yo, this is crazy, man. 40 Ounce of Freedom, it's classic, dude, it's dope. Yeah, uh, gives me stoked, dude. <laughs> awesome, right on, dude. Yeah. Thanks so much for shopping with us today. Dude. Thank you so oh, much yeah. for having thank us. You, oh, yeah. Straight up, thank you for having us. And uh, yo, check these out. Start a band, go to a show. It's yes. dope, man. Thank you guys for, for having us here, man. For real. It's all the love and respect. Can't think of good, good things about you.